Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and I'm back today with one kit, 10 cards. I'm showcasing the new Spellbinders card kit and uh, just like always we are going to take a look on what's included on April's card kit and then I'm going to use just products from the kit to create my 10 cards. The kit this month is called Weekend Fun and just like always you get a leaflet with a few ideas on how you can make some cards. Now, just like always, you will get foam adhesive as well as double-sided tape. You will get your 10 envelopes as well as your 10 pre-folded cards. And these are 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. And let's take a look at the dies for this month. There are 12 dies in the set. You get a lovely wreath and uh, a beautiful portrait of a lady. You will also get uh, lots of flowers and leaves as well as a little bow that you can uh, embellish the lady. It's uh, really adorable. You will also get um, a die that cuts out a bee and you will see later on that it matches perfectly the stamp set as well as hexagons in different sizes. You will also get the word celebrate. Now uh, let's take a look at the stamp set so you can see how it matches. The stamp set is all about bees and it comes with lots of sentiments that are really fun to use such as be cause I love you or um, have a beautiful day and such. Now if you notice the die cuts out perfectly the B and uh, the same with the hexagons there are three different sizes that match the stamps. There is also a little jar of sequins in uh, green color. You will also get stickers. Now these stickers are cheaper stickers, they are really thick and uh, I'm going to peel off one so you can probably see. Great embellishments for the front of your cards. In lovely designs you get uh, sentiments as well as um, focal points. So these were the chipboard embellishments and now let's take a look at the dimensional embellishments. Again, these are stickers, but uh, they do have foam in between, so they are puffy, they are dimensional. Again, they make great focal points and I love the fact that they do have foiling on top of them, so it gives them uh, something special. Now let's take a look at the paper pad. Just like every month, you will get a 6x6 paper pad. There are 20 different uh, designs on this one and you get two pages for each design so 40 pages in total and notice that on some of those pages you get golden foiling that makes them really special i love pattern paper and i use it a lot on my cards and i will use many of these pages on this video as well so let's take a look at the cardstock there are nine pages of cardstock in different colors and one of them is golden and now let's go to my favorite part of the kit every month, which are the die cut shapes. So I'm going to take them out, I'm going to spread them all over my table so that I can see better what I have. You always get two die cuts for each design. And here they are all together, tons and tons of them. Notice that you get many sentiments with lovely foiling on top of them. You will get many that has to do with food butterflies, little uh, um, girly stuff like uh, dresses and bugs. You'll also get flowers, bees, butterflies. And I'll start with the first card for today and I'm going with butterflies. So I'm going to use my dies one inside the other and these are rectangle dies that have some stitching all around. I'm going to create a border out of them. And I picked the two die cuts, the two different uh, butterflies, to be my focal point. I'm adding some Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back of the frame. Of course, you can turn this into a shaker card if you like. It would work as a design. I'm going to stick this border on the outer edge of my card base. And then for my sentiment, I went with a die cut that has a lovely foiling on top that says beautiful. I'm going to add the tiny little foam squares at the back so that I can pop it on my card. And then I'm going to combine this to complete my sentiment with two stamps from the stamp set. Uh, I'm going to stamp have A and I'm going to fit it just between the letter B and T. And I'm also going to stamp the word day and I'm going to fit it just below the word beautiful. I like to nest my words, especially when I'm using a big sentiment like I have here the word beautiful and smaller ones. By nesting them, they look as if they were meant to be together. 
And now that I did my stamping, I can now peel off the backing of the word beautiful and stick it down. And then of course I'm going to stick down the two butterflies and again for them I'm going to use some foam scores at the back so that I can add some dimension. If you notice the two butterflies that I picked have the exact same design as uh, the butterflies on my frame. So I always do that when I'm working with these sheets. I try to match cutouts with the uh, pattern papers and since they come from the same kit they really match. If you look through them you will find things that come together so they make really quick and easy cards. And that's my first card for today with the lovely butterflies. Perfect for spring. For the second card I'm going for an anniversary or a wedding card. So for that I'm going to use this little frame that I cut out by using the rectangles nested one inside the other. And I use the gold cardstock from the kit. I always like a golden frame like this one which is very thin. I think it adds elegance on an otherwise simple card. And I'm also going to combine the two die cuts with the champagne glasses as well as the die cut that says celebrate. All of them have um, little golden details on top of them. So I think they match beautifully. Now I'm also going to use foam scores at the back of the glasses to pop them on my card. And I'm going to finish off my card by adding some golden gems as if they are bubbles. Now all the cards for today are going to be super quick and simple. I will use only products from the kit so they are really easy to recreate and they are perfect for a beginner. And here are some close-up photos on the second card for today. Usually in Greece after Easter we get lots of weddings but now with the virus I think everything is cancelled. Now let's move on to another card. Again, since I had my rectangle dies out, I cut out one more frame. And again, I'm going to do pretty much the same design by adding a very elegant and thin uh, frame on top of my card base. And then as a focal point, I'm going to combine some of the bits and pieces from the kit to create my embellishment. So this is one of the chipboard stickers which is going to be kind of my focal point or my sentiment and then I'm going to embellish it with die cuts. So I have uh, those uh, golden leaves as well as a little bird and I'm going to pop them directly on top. Now the sentiment that I used here says the best things in life aren't things which I absolutely love. And I think it's a lovely card Perfect for any occasion. The fact that all the embellishments as well as the die cuts do have a little bit of falling on top of them is a, a little detail that I absolutely love. I think that just a touch of gold really turns a clean and simple card into looking very elegant. Now for my next card I'm using this beautiful polka dot paper which I have cut down to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is going to completely cover up a card front. I also have a white panel here, which is slightly smaller, which I'm going to stick on top. So I end up having that polka dot as a border. Now, as my focal point, I picked this um, typing machine and I do uh, have a couple of um, tickets. I am going to use my craft knife along with a ruler and I'm going to cut a slit on the typing machine and this way I will be able to tuck inside the two tickets. I love the tickets, they have uh, free hugs on top of them and the green one has free drinks. And I'm going to combine that with the word fantastic but I don't want the exclamation mark since this is not going to be just a word. I'm going to combine it just like I did with the first card with some stamping. And again I'm going to stamp have and uh, the word day. So this is going to completely say have a fantastic day. Again I'm going to kind of uh, nest the two words on top and at the bottom of the word fantastic exactly like I did on the first card. Now my word fantastic has a very big white border and I'm using my scissors to make it just a little bit smaller. This way it's going to fit the heavy inside in between. These are little details that I like to do. You don't have to do that. You can just stamp heavy above the um, word 
and it would work just fine. I just have to do it. It comes into my mind and then uh, I get um, crazy with the little details like these ones. This time I was uh, more brave. I just went with my blog and stamped directly on top. I think we got spoiled with a Misty or any other stamping uh, tool that you are we are working with and we keep stamping with that so we totally forgot how to stamp with uh, a stamping block. Anyway, I went ahead and stamped that and um, I am going to pop the um, typing machine along with the tickets on my card to be the focal point with foam squares at the back. Here are some close-up photos on this card and I don't know if you can hear the dogs of my neighbor barking all the time. I don't know what's going on outside in the yard, but for some reason they don't stop. Anyway, I hope that's not too distracting for you. Now for the next card I am going to use a white panel again and I'm going to place it directly on top of this beautiful floral pattern paper. Again, the white panel is smaller than the standard card. And I always like to have a border on my cards, I think it makes them look more finished. And for the focal point on this card, I'm going to create a cluster by using die cuts again and different embellishments from the kit. I am going to combine two uh, die cut sentiments, the one that says so many reasons to smile with another one that says important. And I'm going to combine those two with two teacups. I think these are just adorable. I just placed one inside the other and I have foam squares at the back. And notice that uh, the floral design on the teacups matches perfectly the floral of my border. Now just to um, add some extra touch I'm going to thread some white string. And I wanted to make my design fuller, so I picked one of the golden hearts from the die cuts. And I also used the banner die that I had in my stash to cut out this uh, golden banner from the gold cardstock from the kit. And that's an afterthought, so that's why I need to lift somehow my embellishment so that I can add that uh, golden banner underneath. I usually design as I go, I look at the card and decide if I like it or if I need to add something extra. And that's exactly what I did here. Just an extra touch of gold. So this is going to be the finishing touch for my card and here are some close-up photos. For my next card I picked this uh, darker pink and I cut out a panel that's slightly smaller than the standard cut. I believe it's 3 and 3 quarters by 5 and I'm going to emboss the sentiment directly on top. I picked the sentiment from the stamp set that says celebrate like you are the queen. I think this is a great sentiment for a birthday card and I'm going to stamp it with a Versa marking. And when I am stamping sentiments, I always pick fine embossing powder. This is going to pick all the little details of an intricate sentiment, no matter how thin the font is. And now I'm going to bring in my heat gun and melt the embossing powder, making sure that I don't warp the cardstock too much. I'm using my trusted Nouveau Deluxe at the back. I'm going to stick that on top of my card base. And then I have a, a few of those die cut leaves with the golden foiling as well as this lovely bird. Now notice that I picked the background cardstock based on the colors of my bird. So I picked the darker of the colors of the pinks. Now just because this is a, for a queen I used the crown on top of my birdie. And I think that looks adorable. I'm going to pop that on my card. And so that my bird is not floating, I'm going to stick underneath those leaves. These are going flat with uh, my glue directly on top of my cardstock. A clean and simple looking card, but I think it's really unique and adorable. And here are some close up photos. Moving on to the next card and this time I picked that lovely pink dress as the focal point. I am adding foam squares at the back just like always to pop it on my card. And then I picked those chipboard corners, these are self-adhesive and I'm going to use those to embellish my panel as well as I picked the word beautiful again with the lovely foiling. 
Now I find that these chipboard stickers are very forgiving when it comes to put them down, peel them off and uh, back again. So if you want to make sure that these are going to stay put, you can add a touch of glue at the back. For my sentiment I went with the die cut that says beautiful and I'm going to complete the sentiment by stamping a little uh, word that says hello. Now this is not from the stamp set that is included in the kit, I'm cheating here. I am sure that you all have a tiny little hello to complete your sentiment or you can just leave it like that. I have a four and a quarter by five and a half mat in uh, the pale pink from the kit and I'm going to stick the whole thing on top of a pre-folded card to complete it. And here are some close-up photos. Now since the kit has lots of bees on it, I'm going to make a card with bees. For that I'm going to use this uh, embellishment along with uh, the bee die cut and these little dies which I'm going to use to cut out golden hexagons. There is also a pattern paper that has a lovely hexagon uh, design at the back. So I cut out a panel which I'm going to stick on top of my card base. This is perfect for all the B cards that you are planning to do with this kit. And then on top I'm going to use this dimensional sticker. Now I think it fits better on the other direction. So for this one I'm going for a landscape card and I need to add an extra foam square on the end of this banner, at the end of this banner. Now I'm also going to add a little B and just to finish it off I'm also going to add those uh, hexagons just like I would add uh, gems or extra sequins here and there to embellish the card even more. Quick and simple to do but really adorable and again I love the golden touch. And here are some close-up photos. For this card I'm going to play with uh, many of the dies from the kit. I'm going to cut out the wreath from gold cardstock. I'm going to use this light cardstock to cut out the lady. I'm also going to use the gold cardstock to cut out the word celebrate as well as I cut out the bow from white cardstock and the leaves from green one. I am again sticking a white panel on top of the pale pink cardstock, so I have a little pink border. And then I'm going to put my card together by creating the main focal point. For that I'm using glue at the back of the wreath and putting this down. I'm also going to glue down my sentiment that says celebrate. And then at the back of the lady I'm going to add a foam square and stick it at the center of my wreath. You can leave the card as it is, it's super easy to mass produce. Or if you want to embellish it a little bit more you can stick that little bow. I have cut it out from white cardstock. And then I'm going to create a little cluster of flowers on one side of the wreath. I'm just going to stick down two little flowers that I cut out from the pale pink cardstock as well as tuck underneath a few green leaves. There are dies that do cut out centers for these flowers, but I decided to go with my Nouveau Drops just at the center and I'm going to call this card done. Really elegant and super beautiful. And here we are finally to the last card for today where I am playing with the pale purple cardstock and again on top I am sticking a smaller panel. It's kind of a recipe for my cards to have a border. And then I'm going to create a little cluster with bits and pieces that I picked up from the kit. So I have uh, the little mason jar with the um, flowers inside. I have also picked up one of the die cuts that says hello happiness and another one that says just be you. And I'm also going to combine everything with a little golden heart at the center. And here are some close-up photos on the last card for today. Remember that you don't have to make super complicated cards to make them beautiful. Clean and simple sometimes is better. You will have lots of fun playing with the contents on this kit. And here are all the 10 cards that I made using bits and pieces. 
I have many pattern papers and many die cuts left and I didn't even use all the cardstock. So I hope that you had fun today, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.